following video shows the impact of a charged froth flotation. What you're seeing here is the first video is a laboratory test that was required before we were actually able to install a small commercial plant in a location at the Horizon Oil Sands Mine in Northern Alberta for Canadian Natural Resources. What you're looking at is tailings pond water and we're adding froth to a sample of the tailings pond water, highly stabilized solids. Prior to adding the froth, we did add a small amount of polyaluminum chloride, but you can see with the addition of that charged froth, the solids are essentially separating rapidly from the water and floating to the surface. CNRL had tried numerous other technologies, uh, typically dissolved air flotation technologies, and was unable to accomplish a similar type of separation this quickly. The second video is of the actual operating plant. And in this uh, video, you're going to see a sample taken directly after froth addition in the actual operating plant and just before the flotation cell. So this represents what's occurring within the flotation cell. The solids in the tailings pond water are very stable. In other words, they've been sitting there for a number of years. They have not settled. They are remaining in suspension. And separating those solids has always been very, very difficult. As you can see here, the addition of the froth just before the flotation cell and the solid separation that occurs within the, the flotation cell is rapid. You can see those solids uh, all rising to the surface, forming a skim layer, and that skim layer then can be easily removed with a, a floating paddle skimmer. Again, these solids have been designated typically as being extremely stable and with the addition of the charged froth they become unstable. They then want to separate from the water, they want to attach to each other and attach to the bubble instead of being in the water and move to the surface. This is a very good example of the impact of a highly charged froth flotation system that we use in the nanoflotation technology.